most of us have heard of the stories of the brutal concentration camps enforced by Nazi Germany in the 1940s. But what some of us might have not heard is that a very similar thing was happening in South Africa 40 years prior. It was during the Second Boer War when the British Empire was fighting with the native Boers over ownership of the South African gold mines. In an attempt to keep Boer soldiers from obtaining food, the English burned down as many farms as possible. Thousands of women and children were left homeless for the winter, as the men were still fighting out in the battlefields. These women and children were rounded into open cattle trucks, where they would be transported to British concentration camps. The English posed for the world, acting as if the women and children were being taken good care of, but it was quite the opposite. Sanitary conditions were horrifying, and diseases like typhoid and dysentery killed many. Six-foot-high barbed wire fences surrounded the camps, making escape nearly impossible. The Boers finally surrendered in the winter of 1902, but it was too late. Over 27,000 women and children had already died because of these English death camps. Memorial statues were created in the remembrance of all women and children who died innocently by the hand of the English.